I'm Joanna Rolick, the Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce, and it's my great pleasure on behalf of our Board of Directors to welcome you to our annual Municipal Luncheon with the Mayor and Village President. Uh, it's an opportunity that we have to be able to get some information um, from the two, well, not the administrators, we get Bob Kiley and Drew Irvin in January, but we have the two uh, heads of government in our communities. So we're very, very pleased to have them today. I wanted to call your attention first to something that you have on your table, that bright green sheet. We'll give you information about all the upcoming chamber events. I know that we have quite a few members here, but we also have some guests. And I thank you very much on behalf of the board and the chamber for attending and joining us today. Um, we do have a women's event coming up this Friday. Gentlemen, if you want to don a kilt or a skirt. Kilts? We had a lot of kilts last week, too. Um, but that is on Friday. We're doing it in the beautiful conference room at Lake Forest Bank and Trust West. Uh, we'll be there. It's a catered meal lunchtime on Friday, and this is a wonderful opportunity to network. I see Debbie Borsick at the next table who heads that up for us. Thank you, Debbie. We also next week have our business after hours. It is at Wisma in Lake Bluff. Wisma is um, John DeRossier's second business in Lake Bluff. He is the uh, owner chef of Innovasi, and that is going to be a wonderful time. So that's next Wednesday from 5.30 to 7.00. Then I wanted to tell you two more important bits of news. First of all, as many of you already know, uh, Lake Bluff, in the June issue of Coastal Living Magazine, Lake Bluff was named to uh, the top 15 happiest seaside towns in the United States. Now, the definition of happy is really uh, it's in the eyes of the beholder, I suppose, but at any rate, uh, they did cite education, the quality of life. Uh, there were quite a few, quite a few uh, items that were, were part of the criteria that they were used in judging. But I wanted to tell you, too, that uh, both the village and the chamber got, were contacted at the end of this past week by the editorial staff of Coastal Living. This Friday, the 13th of July, on the Today Show, the NBC Today Show, the writer of that article is going to do a feature on those towns, including Lake Bluff. So that we submitted photographs that are going to be along with it, as uh, did the village, and I got some from the Park District from different sources with the 4th of July parade. So in the last hour of the Today Show this Friday, we'll send out an email to everyone because it was confirmed to me last night, um, it will be on. And Lake Bluff will be one of the towns featured. I think we were behind Sausalito, California. Was that the one? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So third coast. This is the third coast, right? So at any rate, we're thrilled by that. Then Lake Forest. I received a call last week from Lake County Magazine, which is a rather new magazine. They're going to be doing a feature on Lake Forest, a historical feature they wanted. Um, and this was um, uh, something they'll be doing in the August issue. So. I had a lot of historical information about Market Square, gave it to them along with two photographs, one a historical photo, Janice is here I know, Janice and Lisa are here, a historical photo that we used on the cover of the Summer Guide last year that was as though you're standing in front of the bookstore looking towards Baytree Bank, except that the two boys were wearing knickers. And that was from like 1918, I think. So I went and took exactly the same photo today, and it looks exactly the same. And it's wonderful. So at any rate, that's going to be the August issue of uh, Lake County Journal. So we're very pleased to have both towns on the maps, shall we say. So thrilled by that.